right, in case you missed a minute of the action, let's take you through how this one went down. Asia Thomas and the Bears taking on the Cardinal. Christina Nigue to Thomas. That was going to be a huge key for the Bears. Could they get that three ball going? Cal up four early, under a minute left in the first. Kiana Williams, we just talked to her in transition. Boom. Steady throughout the game, but her time to shine is always when it's clutch. And then she can pass the ball too. How about to Dejanay Carrington? Dejanay Carrington was all toughness. 16 points for Dejanay Carrington. A lot of them came early to get Stanford and get their feet under them. Rissay Caldwell with the heat check. I don't even know. That's beyond NBA range. I'm happy for her. Rissay Caldwell, super high IQ player, plays hard, graduate school now, and feeling it. Pulls up in the face of the defense. Go on, Rissay. Rissay all day. Yeah, 17 points for her. Alana Smith, one of the best in the business, finishing there. Stanford was up 32-29 at the break. Third quarter, this one stayed tight right till the very end. Williams again with the long pass ahead to Smith for the lay-in. Smith finished with 15 points. Anigwe, 14 points, 14 rebounds, three blocks, and three steals. She has never worked harder for that stat line in her life. Lady. No, and they tried to put her in a phone booth, and it just wasn't going to work. She was still going to get a lot of shots, but it was coffee talk that got everybody's attention. That was the three <laughs> that her teammate Kiana was just talking about. Nails. And Kiana Williams, again, maybe putting the icing on this one here. We mentioned her 23 points. Such a clutch player. And the Stanford Cardinal, it was closer up, but the final score did not reflect that. 72-54 is the final. Stanford now 8-0 all-time in the Pac-12 tournament against their Bay Area rivals.